15, seen here with her boyfriend and four-month-old daughter, is in the hospital tonight and accused of trying to kill her own child. Last Friday, her worried boyfriend brought this 20-year-old mom and baby to the child's daycare. Relatives tell us at the time, the mom was making comments about harming herself and the baby. The daycare was a safe place to get help. Once they informed me that they were on their way to our location, I decided to call the cops so that they could interfere with the mother and whatever had happened at their house. Daycare manager Amy Ray said everyone involved was concerned about the baby's and the mother's health. Since then, court documents show the mom allegedly put a pillow on her daughter, sat on top of the bedding, and said, quote, Why don't you die? Why are you still alive? Those alleged words and actions are what prompted the young boyfriend to jump into action and bring the baby to the daycare. It was scary because, I mean, it's not common to have EMS and cops all around our building. Um, but we definitely just wanted the child to be protected. Now, we spoke and communicated with the boyfriend several times today. As you can imagine, he's very distraught about this whole situation. Uh, he really cared for this young mother who right now is getting treatment at the hospital. She is facing a very serious criminal charges, but it's clear the people around her were really trying to do their best for the baby. And by all accounts, the baby is fine, thriving, and living with one of the grandparents. Yo, you too, you too. What's going on? Trey back again. Teach you with a video. Now, this video right here comes out of Texas by way of Houston. Big shout out to everybody in H-Town. Everybody in Houston holding it down my city. Yes, even though that's where I'm from, that's my city. I cannot discriminate. I must keep it real, all the way real, 100. Well, we have a story, yes, of a 20-year-old young mom who I guess is going through postpartum depression, even though I'm going to say postmortem. But anyway, you all get the point. Now, she has a four-month-old daughter, and it's allegedly, but it's a strong allegedly, that she was basically going through some kind of episode or whatnot, and she decided to sit on her baby, pretty much attack her baby. And the boyfriend, um, pretty much seeing all this goes on, takes her and the child to the daycare, and he failed to mention to the daycare workers, what had happened that's at least what the story says so i really don't know what the daycare workers meant by uh she received a phone call when the story said that when they got there they seen the baby was visibly shaken up and that's when they decided to call the police so i don't understand how that was able to contradict but at the same time she is being held at a hospital not in jail i don't know why they don't have her in jail because it's kind of strange that you have Women that can do these children in all kinds of ways and they make all kinds of excuses up for them. But when a man does it, you know what I'm saying? He's a no good this, he's a no good that. I understand, you know, people go through certain situations or whatnot and women, you know, you all go through y'all little thing when you all have children. Something I don't understand because I'm not a woman, thank God. But at the same time, you have to understand that these children are not here for you all to assault or to hurt. But I look at it like this also. If you having sex and you laying down having un unprotected sex, what do you think you're going to have? You're going to have a child. So if you're grown enough and you're man and woman enough to sit there and make a child, why can't you be man and woman enough to take care of the child? Now, what this boyfriend should have done instead of just dropping a baby off at the daycare center and letting them be responsible and calling the police, he should have notified somebody because guess what may happen? Just like with the case with the Malia Davis and uh, her mom, Brittany Owens, and also the boyfriend, Darren Vance. This child will end up vanished, uh, dead and, and won't be heard of again if things are not said and done about it. Just like in the case of Malia, when they were letting all this stuff go on with this child was in and out the hospital. So you must bring it to the authorities' attention when things like this go on because you may be at work, you may be out of town, and all of a sudden, you get a phone call and say your child done fell or your child was kidnapped or the child drowned. And then what? When you should have put a stop to it in the beginning. But that was just just an example. But I want I want to know what you all think about this situation. I would like to definitely know what you all think, especially you women think, and for you moms out there also. Now, I do not really understand what was really going on in this in, in this young lady head. But at the same time, I look at it like this. You, you don't supposed to harm your child. I don't understand that. But, you know, hey, let me know what you all think about that. But I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I'm going to give my opinion. Surely, as we go. 
Why don't you die? That's what the mom said to her child. Why don't you die? And her boyfriend repeated everything that she said to the police. You know, even though he didn't call the police, he, uh, he let the daycare center call the police, but he repeated all this to the police. And also, a Texas mom is charged after she punched her four-month-old daughter and sat on her face in an attempt to smother the baby to death. Not only did she get this child, not a Hawaiian punch, but a Texas punch, and then sit up here and saddle the child, put a pillow over the child, and try to smother the child. So basically, you try to kill the child. Now, you always say something different. You always say, well, postpartum crawl caused her to do this. Well, okay, well, I'll just say evil caused her to do it, because if that's the case, shit, we all can lose control and blame it on something else outside of ourselves. But, you know, if we sit up here and give a folks excuses for everything, because it's strange how we can people can do everything in this world and people have an excuse for them. And like I say, excuses are like assholes. Everybody have them. Some of them stinks worse than the other ones. But at the same time, we must call a spade a spade, a duck a duck, and a quack a quack, if you know what I mean. Now, anyway, Meredith Nicole Dean. Mm. Sound like somebody that would put the paws on a child. 20 years old, but look every bit. 35 right now in the face. Yes, she does. I mean, doing wrong make your age in my eyes. She was charged Monday with felony attempted capital murder. Damn, that's a serious charge in Texas. And why don't y'all charge uh, the other mom, uh, uh, Brittany Owens, with some kind of capital charge? Y'all just let her get off scot free and just got Darren ass just sitting up in jail, raising hell without bail. Now, she allegedly attempted to smother her fun month old daughter inside their Houston home. Well, some say it's a home and it's an apartment. Get the damn location right because it's different between a home and an apartment. I'm sorry for everybody that's staying in apartments or whatever the hell it is, but it ain't the same as having a damn home. I don't care what nobody say. Now, according to court documents, the incident was witnessed by Dean's boyfriend. Ain't no way in hell you're going to sit there and get my child one of them Rocky Balboa punches and then sit there and smother my child. Oh, hell no. It would have been it would have been two punches going in there. You hitting a child and me hitting your ass. And that's the only time I would say I believe in hitting a woman. You're going to get you gonna get the hell up off my child, period, point blank. You all might say, but Trey, you're wrong. But what I'm supposed to do, sit there and watch her uh, just knock the piss out my child? I mean, shit, he's going to do that regardless, naturally anyway. Now, anyway. Now, it was witnessed by the boyfriend who managed to save the infant. But damn, how did, how did you save the infant? It's like she already did what she had to do. The baby just didn't die. That's why after she punched the child and sat on the child with the pillow, she looked down at the child, the child looking up, and she going to tell the child, why don't you die? That's some shit right there I will always remember right there. I don't give a damn. And they say you can't remember uh, no further back than you're two or three. But hell, I remember damn near when I was three. But... If just say if you could remember that, that'll hunt you the rest of your life. Your mama telling you, why don't you die? Anyway, the young mom was arrested Friday after the boyfriend told daycare workers about the shocking event. Well, they said that he told, but he only told them after they seen the baby was very visibly shooken up. That's the reason why he told him. He just didn't come forth out and tell them. Because why tell them? Why not tell the police? That's who you should tell. Because trust me, they're not going to be at your house trying to make sure that this woman do what she's supposed to do. They're not going to come and arrest Meredith. No, you tell the damn police and let it go from there. Because guess what? In situations like this, somebody going to wind up hurt or dead. Either it's going to be your child or it's going to be this heifer. Period. Now, Dean reportedly confessed to the crime and even claimed now she confessed and then she added sugar. You, you see what I'm saying? You ever, you ever heard somebody telling you a bullshit ass story and then they try to sprinkle some cinnamon and shit in there to make it sound good, taste even better? Now she even claimed that she had tried to smother her daughter on a prior occasion. Now she admitted to the Popos 5012 one time that not only did she do it this time, but she tried to do it before it didn't work. So y'all tell me what the hell is that? So, I mean, we can sit up here and say, well, she's going through this, she's going through that. But eventually, she was going to get around to killing this child. And what we still going to say, oh, she's going through this, she's going through that. But if it's a guy, oh, he's a no good bastard, chop his balls off, throw him in prison. That's what's going on. I mean, that's what people say. Look at the comment section. Now, she is currently in custody in a Houston hospital. That that, that uh, mental ward, that psych ward, they call it, that's on the 12th floor. And visiting hours are between 7 and 8 p.m. Don't ask me how I know. But anyway, if, they, if it ain't on the 10th floor or the 12th, try the 13th floor if they got one. I don't even think they got one of them. Now, she is undergoing mental health assessments, and they're going hit, to hit her with a whole heap of charges when she get up out of there. Now, a Texas mom allegedly covered her daughter 
Well, that's a, that's a very strong allegedly because she uh, basically confessed to it and also confessed to the time they didn't catch her. Now, she covered her daughter in blankets and pillows. It's too damn hot, especially in H-Town. It's about 110 degrees out there on that concrete right now. You go outside and fry an egg on somebody's car. That's how a lot of people get their cars towed up, too. But anyway, now, she got all these damn pillows and blankets on this child. What the hell is you trying to damn do? You trying to bake the child? You trying to uh, rotisserie style the child? That's why I won't know. It's too damn hot for all that. You look at a child and die from, from heat exhaustion. Now, the daughter was wrapped in blankets and pillows before sitting on the daughter's face in an attempt to smother her to death. This child right here has a calling on her life. I don't know if this child going to be uh some kind of missionary or doctor, going to make a cure for cancer or AIDS or build a new rocket ship so they can go up to the damn uh, moon if you want to, even though you can't get past the dome. But anyway... This child has something special on her life because the mom tried to take her out. And the mom even admitted, yeah, I tried to take her out this time and a time before then. And I didn't succeed. So God has his hand on this pole, baby. Just touch him right now, Lord. Anyway, now Meredith Nicole Dean, who happened to be 20 but looking 35 in the face right now. And by the time she get out that mental ward, she's going to be looking every bit of 40 in the face. Was charged Monday with felony attempted capital murder. Even though they don't get that charge to everybody in Texas. See, Texas used to be a state like Florida at one time, when you couldn't do a damn thing to a child, when you couldn't touch a single thread of hair on their head. And now you can just do all kinds of shit. You get uh people involved and it ain't got nothing to do with uh, the damn investigation and nothing happened to it. The only thing happened to the damn men in these situations. Let's continue for somebody to figure out what I'm talking about. Now, she was charged with felony attempted capital murder in relation to the shocking incident, which reportedly took place in her Houston apartment Last Thursday, see, there they go with the apartment. I thought they was in a damn home. Now, out of there in a house or a damn home, y'all tell me. That's all I want to know. But anyway, the incident was witnessed by Dean's live-in boyfriend. And man, how you going to sit there the first time she would have ran her hand back and hit my child? That would have been it right there. It would have been, it would have been, it would have been, uh, number, a showdown up in there. That's all I can say because I don't want to say the wrong thing and stuff due, due to the fact I have some younger people probably watching today and stuff. But, it would have been a lot of ass getting towed up in there. Let me just keep it real. Now, who claimed the mom also punched the baby girl and expressed a desire to throw her against the wall? Now, y'all tell me what type of shit that is. That sounds like uh, Beelzebub, Satan, Lucifer, Diablo himself. That sounds pure evil. Ain't it evil to live backwards? I mean, let's come on now. But if she's doing all this to the child, she wasn't going to stop till she killed the child. This is uh, clearly a case a woman does not need to be a mom. And the reason why she did this to this child the second time, well, the second time as the story goes, because she probably did it about five or ten times. Who knows? But we're going to stick to the facts. The reason why she did it this time when the boyfriend was there and he pulled her off the child was because, guess what? The mama, the grandmother, did not want to keep the child. I don't know what the hell is going on, but you have to be prepared to be a mom and a dad. This is not the way grown folks handle things. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what Meredith would talk. I'm not talking down on her mom parenting skills. I'm not talking down on her dad parenting skills. But adults need to learn. Yes, you're an adult if you're 20 and you're making babies. Adults need to learn. This is not the way to let out your aggression or your anger or you may want to go do something else and you want to throw the child off on a grandmother or the granddaddy. No, you have to be a parent. That comes first and you have to also learn how to control your anger because let me tell you something. Your child going to do a lot of shit in their life to make you upset and what you going to do? Kill them then? Let's finish up for somebody to get mad. According to court documents, the boyfriend further alleged that Dean said to her, Infra daughter, why don't you die? Why are you still alive? And that couldn't have been me. I would have been back there holding my heart, crying and everything, and then wearing back trying to kick my foot right deep up in her ass. You feel what I'm saying? I've been crying and everything and being ready to tee off at that 30-yard line. The man eventually pulled Dean off the baby, and a top managed to survive the attempted suffocation and ass whooping the story claim. Now, not only did he have to pull the mom off the baby. Now imagine that. Imagine you seeing your little child uh, just born, just fresh, new in the world. They still got that new smell to them. You know how them kids be having that new smell to them? And your old farts out there, you still you smell like an old used car, beat up leather seats. But anyway, the child still got that new fresh smell on it. Just came out the oven not too long ago. And here you is trying to introduce the, this child to a world of bullshit. That's just too much right there. The following day, the four-month-old was dropped off at the daycare by Dean and her boyfriend the next day. So he didn't call the police that day. He didn't call the daycare that day. He didn't even take the child to the daycare that day. 
So that excludes him trying to help save his own child because what if your ass would have went to sleep? And if you're a human being, guess what? You're going to go to sleep. So what if you would have woke up and you would have seen your child just plastered against the damn wall? The mom done chunked the shit out the child and the child just stuck to the wall and everything, blood everywhere. How would you would have felt right then? Now, he dropped the child off at the daycare the next day where employees noticed that she was shaking. The child was still shaking. I'll be shaking too, damn it. You know, and that says something right there for this child to still be feeling that way the next day. So the story says now after the couple were questioned about the little girl's health by the daycare staff noticed they was questioned. He wasn't forthcoming with the information. The mom wasn't forthcoming with the information and shit like this. It may affect somebody in your home. You can't not let this slide because guess what? Sooner or later, this child going to wind up hurt. Period. You know, this woman was not going to stop until she did something to this child. And basically, if the mom, you know, the grandmother don't want the child or the granddaddy, somebody need to take the child until Meredith get herself together mentally, whatever the hell's going on, whatever she get through with these holes slew of charges they're going to throw at her. Now, Dean's boyfriend came clean about the alleged attempted smothering. That's when he eventually came clean and told the truth after they questioned him. So they tried to make it seem like at first, like he was so concerned. No, he was still trying to protect her. Not saying that he probably did not want anything to happen to her, but who's more important in this situation? Who is defenseless? The baby that's four months old or this grown ass woman and stuff. I, th I think the child is more defensive because this woman can defend herself. This child can't do nothing but take whatever is dished out at her. Now, the employees called the Harris County Sheriff's Office who quickly arrived at the scene. If only they would have did that for Malia Davis, she'll still be here today. They, they came quick this damn time, though. The four-month-old was taken to the hospital for examination, but doctors found no visible signs of injuries. Meanwhile, Dean told police she had become enraged enraged you can't have rage in you when you're dealing with a damn child you will hurt the damn child that's what i'm trying to put right there after her mom now she became enraged after her mom refused to care for the baby so it's gonna be a lot of times your mama gonna say no what if your mama died what if something happened to your mama god forbid not saying i want anything to happen to her because i don't know her but your mom not always going to be around. So what you going to do then? You still going to get mad at the child? You may want to go somewhere and all that. See, this is the price you pay when you want to have a child. You give up that luxury of you can get up and rip and run when you run to. You can hit the streets and everything. No, you have a child that needs you. So you can't get mad at the child. And then we blame it on postpartum and all this other stuff. When you when you admit it prior that you tried to kill the child. Now, everything was fine and honky-dory before the child came along. So what changed? so bad to make you feel this way because guess what you wasn't thinking about all that when you was having sex i'm sure a lot of people wasn't but she reportedly confessed to cops that she had tried to smother the baby even saying that it was her second attempt at doing so so don't make me out to be the bad guy i'm just a messenger that's all don't throw a stone at me unless you can take one throw back and you shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house also now dean claims she had previously held a pillow over the infant's face for 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, I would have been up out of here. All that good Reggie and all that good green, I would have been up out of here at the 29 and a half. You know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't even make it the extra half a second. So for that child to hold her breath for 30 seconds, oh, God just was with the child, evidently, shows this child is a miracle baby, and the mom should be ashamed. The dad should be ashamed, and the dad ought to be more ashamed, because guess what? Even if the mom was going through some kind of mental episode, you supposed to be the man in this situation you're supposed to know how to handle things, and that's what needs to happen more. You need younger couples to understand what it is to really be a parent. Just because you have a penis and a vagina and you're able to make a child does not make you a good mom, does not make you a good dad. You see what I'm saying? You have responsibilities, and your main responsibility is caring for your child, not getting mad at your child just because the grandmother, the, you know, her mom did not want to keep the child. Maybe the mom had a booty call. Maybe the mom had something to do. That's your child. You can't throw your child on the grandparents. It's not fair. Let me know what you all think about this story. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And definitely share this video with your family and friends, your cousins, your uh, BFFs, who always want to throw their child on their grandmothers or somebody else. Then get mad when the people say, I can't keep them today because they haven't kept them the whole damn week before then. Let me know what you all think. Until next time, y'all stay blessed. Love them kids or keep your legs closed and don't have them. I'm out.